Welcome to DP News, America's number one source for Czech news. I'm Jennifer Preston. It's been 312 hours since Russia's horrific invasion of the sovereign nation of Ukraine. But the shock of the unprovoked attack is only one of the surprising events in Europe this week. Russian President has instigated turnabouts in European policy never before thought possible. Surprised at hearing themselves name-checked in Putin's rambling speech, the non-aligned nations of Sweden and Finland are hurriedly translating NATO application forms. Historically neutral Switzerland has decided to take sides, joining the EU in their economic sanctions against Russia. If Russian aggression continues, the Swiss are prepared to send weapons. And Germany's neighbors are applauding its recent decision to ditch its post-World War II pacifism and arm itself to the teeth. Uh -oh. In the most dramatic turnaround, the Czech Republic, formerly the EU's most unwelcoming neighbor, is vying to make their country the most desirable destination for refugees this season. The Czechs have rolled out their red carpet, offering those fleeing Ukraine free transport to and within the country, free health care, warm beds, hot meals, free veterinarian care for the Ukrainian pets, Ukrainian language schooling for children, and for parents, a weekend pass to a luxurious beer spa. Refugees, visit Czechia now while supplies last. In housing news, the capital city of Prague, one of the most prohibitively expensive real estate markets in Europe, is seeing several new housing trends. As more Prague professionals worked from home in 2021, realtors saw an increase in demand for insulated, soundproof home offices. Due to repeated lockdowns, terraces, small gardens, and proximity to parks were also highly desirable features. In recent weeks, however, realtors are getting new requests from buyers. Windowless subterranean apartments in close proximity to air raid sirens are in high demand and selling fast. Units within running distance of a metro station have almost doubled in value. For an additional 50,000 crowns per month, new home buyers in upscale Vinohrady can lease their very own square meter of the platform in Namiesti Miru, Europe's deepest metro station, fully equipped with cots, gas masks, and espresso machines. Former underground bunkers in other parts of the Czech Republic are being restored to their original purpose. The Dennis Bomb Shelter near the Cathedral of St. Peter and Paul was carved out under 20 meters of rock at the end of World War II. Until last week, the bunker was used only as a tourist attraction, a sad reminder of the wartime past. The bunker can hold up to 3,000 people and is located in a small Moravian village on the way to Vienna. <laughs> It's the one and only Eagle Double G. No, 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 no. Global energy prices have skyrocketed this year. In the Czech Republic, fuel prices have gone up over 50%, leaving many Czechs trapped in a no-win situation. Heat their house, drive their car, or feed their family. In an effort to give consumers more options, European governments have approved the use of a new smart thermostat called ThermaChoice. With the turn of a dial, consumers can decide which despotic, backwards regime they'd like to send their energy payments to. For those who'd like to prevent more death and destruction in Ukraine, Yemen, or Venezuela, you can always turn your heat down and put on a warm sweater, if you haven't already donated it to a refugee. In fact, Europe sources more than 40% of its fuel from Russia. And even though the Western world has recently imposed backbreaking sanctions on that country, the West still refuses to wean itself off of Russian pipelines. 
it seems the only ones without access to Russian gas are these guys. And finally, many Russian news outlets are ceasing operations as a new law makes any statement that is inconsistent with Putin's delusions punishable by 15 years in prison. This has led to more than 4,000 arrests in over 50 Russian cities of brave Russians speaking out against the war. But not these TikTokers, seen here participating in a Kremlin-supported influence campaign to repeat Putin's propaganda word for word, disguised as their own thoughts. Hopefully they got paid before the ruble tanked. But unlike Russian influencers who are told what to say, the Czech people have been speaking out independently, but with one voice. Musíme dát najevo, že Ukrajinci jsou naši bratři. Stojíme za vámi a podporujeme váš spravedlivý boj proti bezodlenému agresorovi. Stojíme za Ukrajinou. Putinovi a jeho kumpánům mám, mám pro vás zprávu přímo od Čechu. Jak se řekne ruský hajzlové? Duráky. Duráci. Duráci. And that's the news from Prague. Up next, the Czech Navy has seized a Russian oligarch super yacht on the Vltava. They plan to convert it into the world's largest šlapadlo. For DP News, I'm Jennifer Preston. Uvidíme se příště. Naschledanou. Oh, good, you're still here. If you've intended to donate to the refugee cause, but you haven't done so, or if you want to give more, the Daru Yeme platform has a Pomoc Ukrainie page with a variety of charities. If you're watching from the United States, the Red Cross Red Crescent also has a fund for Ukraine. I'll leave the links below. Děkuju a uvidíme se příště.